In this video, we look at the relationship between the bonds in oxygen and ozone and the wavelength of light required to break those bonds. O2 has a double bond, that means it has a bond order of 2. And here you can see the double bond between the two oxygen atoms. Ozone has an intermediate bond between a single and a double bond. It has a bond order of 1.5. And here you can see the intermediate bond that's intermediate in strength between a single and a double bond. Therefore, the bond in oxygen, O2, is stronger than the bond in ozone, O3. The double bond in O2 requires more energy to break, which means a shorter wavelength, and that's 242 nanometers. The intermediate bond in O3 requires less energy to break, which means a longer wavelength, that's 330 nanometers. So the double bond in O2 requires more energy and a shorter wavelength to break than the intermediate bond in O3, which requires less energy and a longer wavelength to break. 